guys, so today I am doing the sweater weather tag and I'm going to be doing Miss Glamorazzi's version of this. She didn't tag me, but you know, I am just implying that she tagged me, you know, maybe someday Ingrid, maybe someday. But, um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been really wanting to do this tag when I saw it going around originally, and then Ingrid added a few more questions and, like, changed the questions and stuff. So I'm going to be doing her version of it, and I'm just really excited to get into this because I love sweater weather, and I love fall, and just, wow, I'm really excited. So I got my sweater on for you guys, and let's go ahead and jump into the questions. So question number one is your favorite candle scent, and it's actually what is burning in the back of my videos currently. I got this candle as a gift from a subscriber at our Exton meetup, so thank you to who gave me that, and it's called Vanilla Snowflake, and it's just really beautiful. It smells like cookies and just amazingness and it's my new favorite scent for the fall slash upcoming winter season and it just makes me feel all cozy and like I'm roasting marshmallows by a fire. <laughs> Number two is coffee, tea, or hot chocolate, and I really do honestly love all three, but um, I'm gonna have to go with coffee because, one, I really like Starbucks and going to get all of the holiday drinks. I do love getting tea as well when I go there um, from time to time, though, and I do love hot chocolate, but... You know, coffee just kind of overrides everything because it wakes me up, I do stay up pretty late, and so I'm just gonna have to go with coffee because they have a bunch of new, like, flavors and drinks and new fall things that you can try, and the teas generally, like, stay the same, minus, like, a few exceptions, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with coffee on that one. Number three is what is the best fall memory that you have? And I'm pretty sure Lindsay also mentioned this in a video that she was talking about fall in, but when we were little until probably like seventh grade, maybe sixth, I don't know, sometime in middle school, me and my sister and my brother stopped going when he got older, but um, me and my brother and my sister and my dad uh, we would all go to the pumpkin patch together and we would pick out little mini pumpkins and for our rooms and stuff like the little baby ones And then we would also pick out one or two for the house and to carve and we would go home and carve them And my mom wouldn't come with us because she's not into the whole pumpkin patch life or carving pumpkins She would never carve them with us because it would smell too bad for her But my favorite fall memory is just going to the pumpkin patch with my dad and my family and we never really do that anymore which is kind of sad, but it was just so cute, and sometimes we would go to corn mazes and stuff like that, and so that's probably my favorite fall memory overall. <laughs> Question number four is which makeup trend do you prefer, dark lips or winged liner? And I was gonna say both, because I do love both. You guys know I love my winged liner. I'm actually not wearing it today. I'm gonna have to go with my winged eyeliner because I couldn't give that one up, but I do love both trends. Number five is the best fragrance for fall. I guess fragrance as in like body splash, body spray, or perfume, etc. But I'm gonna switch it up. My favorite fragrance, like things that I like to smell in the fall, is hot apple cider. With all the fall candles at Bath and Body Works and everything, I can't narrow that down. There's just too many that are too good, so I'm gonna have to say something that's not a fragrance and more just a natural scent. Apple cider. Hot apple cider smells so good. Number six is your favorite Thanksgiving food, and I'm definitely going to say mashed potatoes because, as most of you probably know, I'm a vegetarian, so it's not like I can eat turkey on Thanksgiving, and so I generally have, like, green beans, and my mom will always make salad because she doesn't eat meat either, and then she makes hella mashed potatoes and they are so freaking good. Mashed potatoes are definitely my favorite Thanksgiving food, especially the ones that my mom makes. <laughs> Number seven is what is autumn weather like where you live? And here in Georgia it is crisp outside and I was just talking about this with one of my friends the other day. Our fall and winter skies are really really clear. I guess everybody's are because well it's normally extremely humid in Georgia over the summertime and so now that all the humidity is gone it's just like you can go outside and just breathe in like nice crisp air and I like that. It's not too too cold but it's to the point where it's like cold in the mornings where like you're freezing and you have to put your gloves on on your steering wheel like that's kind of where it is right now because it's November but um in October it's kind of just like jeans and sweaters it's not like all bundled up you know not like New York or like any anywhere further up north because we are in the south it's getting pretty nippy here if you do ask me and so if I would describe the weather I would just say it's 
it's quite nippy or nipply, if you will. <laughs> I used that joke for the second time in a video. Number eight is your most worn sweater, and mine is this grandpa sweater that I've showed a bajillion times to you guys. I got it at Goodwill, and I just love it because it just screams like fall coziness to me. I also really like this one. This one's from Forever 21, but I have a bunch of just like fall sweaters like this, but this one's so baggy that I love wearing this one. It's just so great and cuddly and cozy, and so this is probably my favorite sweater that I have currently, and it also has a bunch of colors in it that I love, so. Definitely this one. <laughs> Next is your must-have nail polish for fall, and of course I'm going to use my Lincoln Park After Dark from OPI. This is my favorite nail polish ever from OPI, honestly, if we being honest, okay? And I just put this in my favorites video recently, and I have it on my nails now. It's chipping. Don't look at it. It's almost black. It's so purple that it's black, so I love this because I just love dark nail colors, so this is fabulous. Number 10 is football games or jumping in leaf piles. Well, in the South, we have a really big SEC kind of love for football, and I don't really like football, so I'm just going to go ahead and say jumping in leaf piles because I do enjoy nat nature more than I do football, so definitely jumping in leaf piles, except one time when I was little, I have a really tragic story. I jumped in a leaf pile, and then I got out, and there was a daddy long legs on me, and I'm just terrified to jump in another leaf pile, but... I mean, I would do it again just for the thrill of it, if you know what I mean. Eleven is skinny jeans or leggings. Leggings, leggings, leggings. Leggings all the way. So freaking comfortable. I do love skinny jeans too, but leggings. Twelve is combat boots or Uggs. And, okay, if we're being honest, again, <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I don't know why I keep saying that, because obviously I should be being honest in my videos. But, um, I really don't like Uggs anymore, and I think I want to sell mine. And they're in fabulous condition. I've probably worn them, like five times in my whole entire life. So if you want to buy them, once I get this whole kind of like eBay or maybe some other kind of selling site um, up and everything running, like they're almost in perfect condition. Like I said, I've probably worn them a total of five times. They're tall sand colored Uggs and they're just really warm and I love them, but I don't want them anymore. And I'm not going to wear them because it doesn't even get that cold here to wear them. And so I'm going to say combat boots because I don't really wear my Uggs. So you guys know I love combat boots. I mean, my style is generally a bit more edgy, so I love them. So definitely combat boots. Number 13 is pumpkin spice worth the hype. Hell yes it is. Pumpkin spice is so good. Pumpkin spice anything is good, okay? Pumpkin spice cookies, pumpkin spice lattes. Also, if you get the soy pumpkin spice lattes, I meant to tweet this the other day, um, they're just as good because I can't have the regular ones because they make my tummy hurt. But um, pumpkin spice is definitely worth the hype, okay? 14 is favorite fall TV show. Am I supposed to have different TV shows for fall? I didn't know that I was supposed to. Um, Skins is always my favorite TV show because I always watch that on Netflix, so so anytime anybody asks me, hey, what TV show are you watching or what TV show do you like? Skins, so it's not really going to change for the fall and winter time, maybe because I spend most of my time in my bed considering I don't have a boyfriend, so Netflix, my computer in my bed under my covers watching Skins, favorite fall TV show is that. That should be like a documentary of my life there. Number 15 is what song gets you into the fall spirit? Well, in my fall styling grandpa sweaters video, I played this song called Crazy Bird by Wild Child, and I am in love with it. It's just such a happy and generally upbeat song, and I feel like that's what fall is all about, you know, just being happy and out in the sun doing things and picking apples and going to pumpkin patches and going to bonfires and going to corn mazes and I don't know. Just really gets me in the fall spirit. Like I said, I used it in my grandpa sweaters video, so if you're wondering what that song was, even though I put it at the end of the video for you nimwads who didn't realize, I will link that song down below as well. And um, that is actually all of the questions. I ran through that as quickly as I could because you guys know I like to talk. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and give it a big thumbs up if you did. Definitely do this tag if you want to participate in the sweater weather tag because it's really, really fun and I really enjoy doing this and I have to do some kind of a seasonal fall tag. So I did one. Sweater weather tag instead of I heart fall tag because I did that one last year. So this year is the sweater weather tag. I'm going to be tagging some people down below specifically and also just do this tag if you want to. I know you can't really do video responses anymore. More. So um, comment down below if you did this and maybe I'll go check out your channel and see if you did it and everything like that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I wanted to do this really bad. I really, I, I got this as a gift from a subscriber at our, I got this as a gift from our, I got this as a gift from a subscriber at our Philly meetup and mm.
Number five is the best fragrant. Number five is the best favorite. What if the sky and the stars are for show and the aliens are watching live from the purple matter?